everyone, my name is Chen Xi, and this is our book. The title is Jack and the Beanstalk, an elastic tree by Kevin Scott. Let's have a book break. One day, Jack Mum said, "We had no money." And nothing to eat. Take our cow to the market and sell it, so that we can buy some food. Jack took the cow to the market. He sold the cow for some magic beans. Jack ran all the way home with the bag of beans. Look at this boy. His name is Jack, and the cow is with the man. But when Jack Mum saw the bean, she was cross. Silly boy! Shouted Jack's mum. Now we have no cow, no money, and nothing to eat. She threw the beans into the garden. And sent Jack to bed. Jack went off to bed. He was sad about the beans. Poor little Jacky, and he is getting his little favorite teddy bear. Do you want to play a game? Do you know where is Jack and the cow's picture? Found it if you want it. The next morning, Jack looked out of his window. There was a giant beanstalk in the garden. Jack was hungry. He climbed the beanstalk to look for some beans to eat. He climbed up and up into the clouds. Jack went all the way to the top of the giant beanstalk. The top of the beanstalk. Jack found a giant castle. He knocked at the castle's door. The cook opened the door. Please, can I have something to eat? Said Jack. The cook gave him some food. Then they hear footsteps. You must hide, she cried. The giant who lives here likes to eat little boys for his supper. Boom, boom, boom! Jack hide in the cupboard. Wow! This this cupboard is huge, and Jack is too li- is so little that he can hide inside the cupboard. The bad, greedy giant stomped into the kitchen. Fee, fi, four, thumb. I spell the blood of a little boy. The giant shouted. Don't be silly," said the cook. "You, ah,、uh, you can spell sausages." Jack was scared. Would the giant eat him? Do you think the cook? Is really really smart. The greedy giant ate his sausages. Bring me my gold! Roared the giant. The cook got his gold, and the greedy giant counted. Soon the giant fell asleep. <sighs> giant. Jack popped out the cupboard and grabbed a bag of gold. Jack quickly climbed back down the beanstalk with the bag of gold. Woohoo! Silly Jacky! Jack Mum bought some food, but soon all the gold was gone. And they were hungry again. Jack climbed up the beanstalk again. 
He hide in the castle. Soon, the greedy giant came into the ki- kitchen. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a little boy. He shout. Don't be silly, said the cook. You can smell meat. The giant ate his food. Bring me my hen, roared the greedy giant. The cook fetched a fat red hen. The hen lay a big golden egg. As soon as the giant fell asleep, Jack popped out and grabbed the hen. Jack climbed down the beanstalk with the fat red hen. The next day, Jack climbed the beanstalk again. He hid in the castle and wait for the giant to come. Bring me my harp! Roared the giant. The cook got a golden harp. The harp sang to the giant. He fell asleep. Jack popped out and grabbed it, but the giant woke up. Fee, fi, fo, thum! He cried. Stop! Come back, boy! Jack climbed down the beanstalk as fast as he could go. The giant chased after him. Jack got to the bottom and grabbed the axe. He chopped down the beanstalk. Crash! The giant fell down to the ground, and that was the end of the bad greedy giants. And this is the end of our Jack and the Beanstalk. See you next time and subscribe to our channel. Bye.